Voila! Hello everyone! Today is going to be a fun day because I'm going to show you how to make amazing waffles. Uh, normally I do travel vlogs, but after seeing online all these waffle recipes that are just floating with fat and basically taste like um, eating melted butter with sugar in, I decided to share with you this uh, recipe. And this recipe is really really delicious waffles and they are not so heavy but they taste great. These uh, waffles, they are really, really hard to find anywhere outside of Norway and they are Norwegian waffles. So I would recommend everyone to at least try this recipe once because when you taste them, you will find out why these are the best waffles. So now I'm going to show you how to make the batter uh, and after that I'm going to show you how three different waffle irons. I'm going to test them out and show you three different types of waffles you can make. Really fun! So now to the big question, how do we make these waffles? Well first, you take two tablespoons of sugar. One, two. And then you take two eggs and crack them together with the sugar. And don't leave any pieces of egg skin. I'm not always good at that, so I'll have to remove them. And this waffle recipe, you actually have time to make the waffles while you watch my video, which is great. I'm not rushing through everything and you're just standing. So hopefully I'll give you enough time. So then you whip the eggs together with the sugar. You can see here, you have to whip it so everything is properly mixed. So now it's very nice. And then you will need flour, white flour, three deciliter of white flour. Voilà. Then you pour it in the bowl and put uh, four deciliter of milk together with it. Pour it in and mix. And it's really important that you mix so that there are no lumps. Because if you have flour lumps, the waffles will taste like flour lumps. And uh, in the 1560s, the waffles. They were really, really popular in France. There were so many waffle booths, booths and selling lots of lots of waffles. But they turned into so many arguments between the waffle booths uh, that they had made the restrictions that they had to be minimum 3.6 meters between each waffle booth. So I'm just thinking it would be really, really fun if there were lots of Norwegian booths around the world. So that's a business idea for someone. It would be so fun. And now you can see here, really smooth texture. I will show you. Here, you can see it's not the really, really thick, just a little bit thick. And I don't use any butter in the batter because uh, I put oil on the waffle iron. But if you would like to add butter in the recipe, you can use uh, two tablespoons of melted butter. But anyway. I like it like this. So now I'm going to get the waffle irons and I'm going to show you three different types. And now to the first waffle iron, two or more after this. Uh, this is uh, the Norwegian traditional waffle iron, which is made of hearts. So a bit romantic really. Uh, and uh, before you use it, put it with oil. You only need to do this uh, for first uh, use. And the waffle recipe that I showed you gives about eight waffles. So the oil is so that the waffles they don't get stuck to the iron. Of course you have different uh, heat seats here. I'm going to put it on four. 
and then I will wait until the light got all goes off and then I will show you how to fry the waffles and uh, these waffles they are really really nice to have you can have for breakfast you can have for lunch you can have for high tea you can have for dessert and we normally serve them with jam and here is for example raspberry jam but strawberry jam or any other jam is also very nice so now the light is off some have a green light also so when the green light is on you can put in the waffles Make sure that the hearts are filled up, but that it's not over floating, so it goes out on the side. And then close it, and then we wait. Basically, till the green light goes on, but uh, I've broken my green light, so. <laughs> so when the red turns off, then. The waffles will be ready for eating and uh, this batter you can just put in the fridge and uh, and make uh, don't make up the whole bunch if you're not going to eat them better just put them in the fridge and then make uh, before eating it's we're quite quick to make one and so much better but of course uh, if you have to then you can put them in the fridge after making them and now it's time to open the waffles you can see here, really, really delicious waffles. And you use a fork, don't burn yourself too much. And tra-la, really, really nice heart waffles. And then you can put some jam on. And then it's bon appetit. And now for the next waffle iron. Uh, you can see this is a really fun waffle iron. You can make waffle giraffes, waffle lions, waffle elephants. Really, really fun. And this is really fun. If you have uh, kids, they're going to love these waffles. And uh, these waffles, they will be really, really fun for kids. You can have in the lunch box. Uh, you can have on a kid's birthday party. If you, they can give you, you can have them for breakfast. If you have a restaurant, this could be really fun for the, for the children. So, let's see how they turn out. I'm a bit impatient, so I'll make the waffles. I don't want to wait any longer. So, here's the lion. And the elephant. And the giraffe. And then close it. And uh, now since uh, there are three animals here, there's giraffes, elephant and the lion. So for example, if you have kids and all your kids only want the giraffe, uh, then you'll have to make enough uh, plates for each kid to have one giraffe. So when both the lights are there, a bit strange iron, then the waffles are finished. ta -da! Yeah, do have to separate them a bit. We can see here, really cute giraffe waffle, elephant waffle, and the lion waffles. You can just remove this extra. This happens if you put a little bit too much butter, but yeah. If I put it too little, they will suddenly not have one leg missing, so. Put a little jam on this. And tra -la. Now, only one more waffle iron to go. What could that be? And now to the final waffle iron. I'm really excited. And you can see here. What do you think this will make? What type of waffles? It'll actually make waffle balls. Yes. And I put uh, uh, oil on it. And when it becomes green, then we can put the batter in. And it's going to be really fun to make these balls. Uh, these waffle balls can be really, really fun. If you have for desserts, you can put ice cream in them. You can put fruits. But uh, anyway, we'll see.
I'm going to show you what they will look like. Uh, I just got this uh, waffle iron yesterday, so it's a bit new for me also. So the red light does not turn off, so it's on when the green light and the red light is on. You can put in the batter. And then you close it. And then we will wait. And now the green light is finally on. And now the bowls are ready. And this takes a bit longer than the other waffles. But they, here, can have two. One. Really nice cups of waffles where we can serve any types of dessert in. Tra-la! It's up to your imagination. Ice cream, fruit salad, cream. Tra-la! And since I'm showing things that are Norwegian, I want to show you. This is a, a very special Norwegian speciality. Uh, it's called the brown cheese, but uh, when you taste this, uh, probably very difficult to taste outside of Norway, you need to have a cheese cutter like this. You cannot use a knife because then the taste will be too strong. So many Norwegians love to have this brown cheese on their waffles. And when you taste this uh, brown cheese, do not have the idea of cheese in your head. Because if you think that you're, if you're expecting a white cheese, normal tasting cheese, it doesn't taste like this. Uh, it tastes completely different. It's kind of maybe a bit like condensed milk uh, uh, or a sweet, small hint of uh, sweet caramel taste or yeah, you have to taste it. And anyway. Norwegians love to have this brown cheese on their waffles. Really nice. And I love these waffles. And I hope uh, that by showing you this video, you will try these waffles and you will also love these waffles. And I've written all this recipe will be written in my video description. So you will have the recipe there. And please write in the comments after you made it, what you think about it, what you, how you like the waffles, and if I should make some other food uh, vlogs about Norwegian food also. And now you can see all the different types of waffles. The Norwegian traditional heart waffles, delicious. You have this really fun uh, animal uh, waffles, giraffe, elephant and lion waffles, really fun. And you have the waffle bowls which you can use for any type of dessert, just up to your imagination. And then you have the Norwegian speciality, the brown cheese on the lovely Norwegian waffles. And uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe so I can see you next time. Bye!